Hey, hello friends. This is Vikas Yadav. Today I'm going to show you how you can post or get a data from a website. So I'm selecting a thingspeaks.com as my specific website. So let's go to a web browser and type thingspeak.com. Now you need to create an account. I have already created an account. So I'm just logging it and log in. Here you can see all the channels that I've created. So let's just uh, start with creating a new channel. So go to my channel. Uh, give a name to your channel. Uh, so I'm giving it uh, posting data. If you want to give the description, you can. Field shows a graphical representation of your data. So I've selected field one and field two and you can change the label if you want uh, so let's make it public so that you can uh, use my code save channel so here i've created a channel posting data this is my channel id this and author so here's the private view let's go to the public view if you haven't uh, seen this public view you need to change the settings and allow public and even can see uh, by specifying this uh, channel id so how you can post a data to field 1 or field 2 so for at first i am posting a data to field label 1 uh, using the python uh, by using two modules a url lab and beautiful soap so let first create a python file go to desktop uh, control alt open a terminal and now uh, i need to create a file over desktop so i need to specify the directory and now need to create that file touch and that's things.py the python extension i've created things.py uh, now i need a text editor to open this file so let's specify a text editor gedit things.py and here is empty file uh, here's nothing so you need to first call these two modules so first importing url lib and then with the beautiful soft 4 from bs4 import beautiful soap um, let's post a data to the field one okay uh, so first of all we need to call url lab object data url lab dot url open In the double quotes, you need to specify a URL. Or oh, things we provide a better solution or very good solutions that you can call a web address with the content or the field one, which it posts on the field one. First of all, you need to specify the API keys of your channel. So uh, let's go to this tab: Data Import Export and APIs. Here you can see http api thingspeak.com here is the api key uh, you need to use this api key to post the data uh, from using the url here's a field one data so you need to copy it and go to your text editor and paste it over here uh, here you can see that is the web address with the end you can see field one equals to zero well zero is your data uh, you can change this data if um, you can change this data let's uh, i'm sending 100 as my data so let's print whether our request is accepted or not it will return of some it will return us some data if our object is accepted or our web address is accepted so let's run this file uh, again open a terminal and specify the folder where you save your file desktop python and your file name and here's there's a return it return us some data means that our data have been put out the website so let's look go to the website uh, posting data and go to the public view go to the public view and go to the field one 
Oh, that looks it's over there. It's hundred. The data we specify over there. Now let's uh, send some new data, like nine hundred nine double zero. Okay, let's save this file and again run that file. It's again returned something. So means our data have been posted to the website. Or uh, I did not see anything over here. Oh, is our data? It's a nine hundred. It's all done. Okay. Now it's done for the first part. Now the for second part, we need the data to be scrapped from the web page, or uh, to get the data from this web page, uh, we again need to use the APIs just, uh, provided by the uh, thingspeak.com. So for that, uh, let's um, again uh, data from website equals to again. You need to URL. You need to specify the your URL lab objects, URL lab or URL lab function, URL open. Now, why we need to again specify this URL? Because now this time we need that data to uh, we need to get the data from the web page or the website. Uh, so let's go to data import import tab. Get a channel feed. So here now, this time you need to use this web address to get the data from the channel. Copy it and paste it uh, to your text editors in the quotes. It's all done. Now let's print this. Print data from website. Let's uncomment this so it does not uh, mix with the map. Uh, let's save it and run it. It's nothing. It means our date we get the data from the website, but where's our data? Don't see it. So you need to specify read function and then again okay. So where's your data? Okay, let's look at over there. The field one with the data hundred and field one with data nine hundred. Uh, whensoever you specify or you get the data from the website, you get two datas, a previous data and the current data. So we have in a current data nine hundred and the previous data is hundred. So if you update or you post a new data, like uh, if you post thousand, so you get a previous data as nine hundred and new data as thousand. Okay, so what uh, we don't want this all the contents. We only want the field one content. It is nine hundred. So what all you can do is you need to import re regular regular expression. What all it does is it will match the data. It match the data or a string or a search data from a string. So we need to search a data from a string. If it searches the data. If there is some data in the search field, we print that data. So uh, let's select uh, re dot search search. Now from where you want to search that string? So let's shorten that string from here, which uh, from where you need to select the data. Select equals to using re br. Now. It is kind of a similar but lot different from the str or string rebr. Uh, it is an actually the official string or official. Uh, what is the difference between the rebr and the string is that rebr is used for debugging and we get extra information or detailed information of the expressions like rebr. So data from website dot read. Okay, uh, now you need to shorten that string. So it's very easy in Python. Uh, so let's specify 200 colon. So what it all does it? It's uh, trim the string uh, from after the 200 and get save the string again. This select string. So you uh, get only the string after 200. 
so let's print that or so that we can see that we get the data that we want okay oh sorry here again we have so much of data so we again need to do a lot much of processing data processing with 300 let's again do it oh what i am doing over here okay here you can see the field one is 900 we cannot uh, will not able to see the field one with the previous data we only want we only want the field one content so now you need to do is to use the re regular expression to research functionality so uh, let's I mean, pick equals to re dot search a r c h search and what all you want to search from that string so it takes two parameter first uh, what, do you, what all you want to search uh, within the expressions or from the string and the second parameter is from which string you want that expression so let's how you can uh, search that string so look over uh, the previous line there is a field one quotes colon then again quotes and the content the content within quotes so we need to specify that okay so what all you need to do is make field field one double quotes colon double quotes uh, double quotes and then uh, the content within that so you can uh, get the content by specifying this and then again quotes okay comma and then a comma if you haven't if you does not specify the comma then we will get the data from the last comma last double quote operator okay and now you need to specify the uh, string from which it will search that element so it will search from as e select clc select and now we print this pick taking time oh it shows this match the data or match the content that we want so how you can print that content so again you need to do something like if but it's a pick contained if the data is found so if pick if the data is there if pick you need to print the data print print the data pick dot you need the data pick and now the data is contained in a group and the group is one in the first group so let's print that here's our content 900 uh, so it's all done for today uh, so if you want uh, the program code uh, go to my uh, github repository uh, what all you can do is uh, go to the link uh, given in the description Thank you.